family, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great start to your day. I am here today to share with you some pretty big, pretty exciting, pretty huge news that happened to me this week. Actually two super exciting things that happened to me this week, back to back days. And I just wanted to share with all my YouTube friends and family, if you are here just to see the Get Ready With Me video where you get to see how I do my everyday makeup look, just skip right ahead to and I'm just throwing a little disclaimer out there. I am not now, nor will I ever be a professional makeup artist. I don't know the first thing about makeup. This is just what I do on a daily basis. It's been very highly requested to do a everyday makeup routine. So I am just here to show you my everyday makeup routine. If you are a professional makeup artist and you're watching this video, which you're probably not, um, this might not be the video for you because my techniques aren't really up to par, so to speak, and like I said, I really don't know anything about makeup. This just is what seems to work for me. So anyways, if you want to just skip right ahead, go right ahead and skip over the news, but if you want to hear the news, I'm going to get right into my news. I had two really awesome things happen to me this week. On Wednesday at precisely 9.30 a.m., I officially closed on my first house. Oh my gosh, I'm a homeowner and it's, I don't know, it's so, the feeling is so surreal right now. I can't even put into words how it felt to just sign that last paper and get the deed to my house. I actually don't even have the deed to my house yet. I have like that fake photocopy one that they give you. I won't get the actual deed to the house for, I think, two months, they said, but I closed on my first house. It's just... There's no words. I have literally been living on cloud nine ever since Wednesday. I wake up so excited each and every day. I'm going to be moving in in about two weeks, so I would love to do some home tours. I already had a ton of people asking for room tours and library tours, and I would like to take a minute to just personally thank each and every one of you who sent me well wishes. I put a picture up on my Instagram, and I received so many comments, just the most positive and encouraging and supportive comments and I wanted to thank each and every one of you who commented on my Instagram saying congratulations, wishing me well wishes and just making me feel awesome that day. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. This has been just the most amazing week I've ever had. And then on top of closing on my first house, and again, if you want to see any like home tours or room tours, just let me know in the comments below. But basically I'm making this video to say thank you to all of you for going out of your way to make me feel special on a really special day. And the second thing that happened is I woke up the next day on Thursday and precisely at 6.33 a.m. I checked my YouTube account and I hit 10,000 subscribers! It's just, this has been the best week ever. And I know I feel like I'm like very elated at the moment, but I am. I'm just, I'm literally living on a permanent cloud nine at the moment. I've been just, wake, I'm just so happy. And I could not do this without you. I am at a thousand, excuse me, 10,000 subscribers, 100% because of you. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate everything that you guys do for me on a daily basis. Your comments, the likes, the video watches, the shares, just sharing your life with me through the comments. I feel like I know so many of you on a personal level and I just, I love it. It's just, I... I really am happy that I started a YouTube account. When I first started my YouTube account, I've said this a billion times, you're probably getting annoyed, but I was happy if I could reach like 100 subscribers and flash forward to a year and a half later, I'm at 10,000 subscribers. It there's no there's no words that I can even put in to tell you how amazing it feels and Again, this video is not for me, it's for you. Thank you for all your well wishes on my house. Thank you for helping me reach 10,000 subscribers and thank you for everything that you do. I couldn't have done any of this, this, any of these videos, any of this content, my channel without you. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really, truly am grateful for each and every one of you and I feel so blessed to have a channel and so blessed to have such amazing subscribers. I love you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed my news and I'll be back with a new video very soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. Bye. My face tends to get really dry during the winter time, so I'm starting off by moisturizing with my Olay Regenerous Deep Hydrating Cream and rubbing it into all aspects of my face. I usually allow this to sit for two minutes before applying makeup. Normally I do not use a concealer, but due to the intense cold this winter time has brought us New Englanders, my rosacea has been acting up a lot, causing me to have multiple red patches on my skin. A viewer told me that the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer from It Cosmetics that I received in one of my Ipsy bags works well as a facial concealer, as well as being very gentle on sensitive skin. So thank you, it works great on my skin. 
I am lightly dabbing it onto all the problem areas on my face. Next, I'm going in with my CoverGirl True Blend Powder Concealer in Translucent Light to seal the look in and to give my face a more matte look. I've been trying to experiment more with blush lately, so I'm using this blush from Model Co. in the color Cosmopolitan that I also received in one of my Ipsy bags and gently swiping it across the apples of my cheek. For my eyes, I'm using the e.l.f. palette that I bought at Target, and I'm using the light gold in the inner corner of my eyelids, the pink on the outer corner of my eyelids, the light brown on the top of my lids, and the dark brownish gold on the crease of my lids. I'm using my finger to blend the colors together. For eyeliners and mascara, I will link all the information in the description. I am taking the Starlux liner in the color Ultra Olive from, guess where, my Ipsy bag, and swiping it across the lash line several times until the liner becomes pigmented. I'm sorry I didn't fill the liquid liner, but I applied a very thin layer below the pencil liner. Now I'm taking my eyelash curler and I'm gently curling my eyelashes for about 7 seconds. To achieve the perfect lashes that I want, I am starting with the Estee Lauder Mascara in Sumptuous and applying a generous amount to my lashes. And then, before the mascara completely dries, I am adding a light layer of the CK by Calvin Klein Mascara. Now onto my lips. I am moisturizing with my Figs and Rouge Pomegranate Balm that I received in my Pop Sugar box. Lastly, I am finishing this look with my Kate Long Lasting Lipstick in the color number one. And that's it, that's the whole look in my everyday makeup routine. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I truly appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for all of your love, support, and positivity on my channel. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! They don't make you like they used to You're never going out of style